Jeffrey Tubin is back and his return video is one of the most difficult things I've ever had to watch but also one of the funniest things I've ever seen. For those of you who don't know, Jeffrey Tubin was the guy who played with his tube on a company Zoom call. He's a legal analyst for CNN and he was a writer for The New Yorker for 27 years. And uh, I guess he was having a Zoom call with some colleagues and I guess they all took a break and he was like, hey, this seems like a, a good time to bat one out. Uh, so he started masturbating in front of his co-workers. Subsequently, he ended up being fired from The New Yorker and he, he went on a little bit of a hiatus from CNN only to make his return, triumphant return. <laughs> you could say he's erected from his past. There was things he had to overcome. I mean, I'm sure it was all a whirlwind to him. I'm sure it all happened in a flash. Somehow Jeffrey Tubin actually looks like a guy who would masturbate on a Zoom call. So it's kind of crazy. Sometimes just God makes him that way. I just know that he has an unfortunate name for a guy who tubed off on Zoom. Hi, Jeffrey. Hello, Allison. It's been a while. It has been a while, indeed. I feel like we should address um, what's happened in the months since we've seen you, since some of our viewers may not know what has happened. So uh, I guess I'll recap. I'll do the honors. <laughs> Help yourself. OK. <laughs> um, this is one of the most awkward things ever. They both know that this is going to be difficult territory to traverse on live television. Um, in October, you were on a Zoom call with your colleagues from the New Yorker magazine. Everyone took a break for several minutes, during which time you were caught masturbating on camera. Uh, you were subsequently fired. <laughs> this is so unbearable, man. Her little... Mm. On camera. Mm. It's almost like a self-congratulatory lip smack after being able to successfully say the word masturbate on live television and not crack a smile. Uh, you were subsequently fired from that job after 27 years of working there. And you, since then, have been on leave from CNN. Do I have all that right? Um, you got it all right. Sad to say. Okay, so let's start there. Okay. Um, to quote Jay Leno, what the hell were you thinking? Well, obviously, uh, I wasn't thinking very well or very much. And um, it was something that was inexplicable to me. I think one point, I, I wouldn't exactly say in my defense, because nothing is really in my defense. I didn't think I was on the call. I didn't think other people could see me. What do you mean that's not in your defense? That should be your entire defense, my guy. <laughs> Um, and, you know, I have spent the seven subsequent months, miserable months in my life, I can certainly confess, um, trying to be a better person. I mean, in therapy, trying to do some public service, um, working in a food bank, which I certainly am going to continue to do. He is so nervous and awkward right now. How many times has he clapped his hands mid-sentence? of that that went months I can certainly a better person I mean in therapy food bank which I he's almost acting like he has sinned and has to self-flagellate in front of the community in order to be accepted back I don't really think doing community service has anything to do with you blasting off on camera dude I mean that's good that you're doing community service but it's a weird reason to be there I feel like but I am trying to become the kind of person that people can trust again I'm sure you've replayed that embarrassing moment over and over many times. Oh yeah, I play it over and over again. Nothing gets me rock hard like replaying my old humiliating, <laughs> my old public humiliation. Hell yeah. Um, have you ever thought about what it must have been like to be on the receiving end of that Zoom call? Um, well, I, I, I haven't just thought about it. I, I fantasize about the I haven't just thought about it. I've spoken to several of my former colleagues at The New Yorker about it. And, you know, they uh, were shocked and appalled. Um, I think they realized that this was not intended for them. I think they realized that this was um, something that I would immediately regret, as, as I certainly did. And it was then, it was that day, 
that I began apologizing. Having to listen to a man beat himself up and grovel like this because he got caught masturbating is just, what a, what, this is a simulation. You know what I mean? The fuck is wrong with you, CNN? This bit is weird. <laughs> I mean, I have tried and I'm trying now to say how sorry I am sincerely in, 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 in all seriousness. Ooh, just that fucking, you hear that? He's like quivering in his voice. Hey, how sorry I am. This is a disaster, dude. This is haywire. Above all, I am sorry to my wife and to my family, but I'm also sorry to the people on the Zoom call. Ah, oh, man, his poor family. Imagine this being your dad. <laughs> He's never gonna win another argument with his kids. They have the ultimate trump card. How, are, how is anybody supposed to take this man seriously anymore? God, this is a brutal one. Because even if you'd start to take him seriously and you're listening to him, always in the back of your head, you're going to be like, isn't this the guy who jerked off in front of his co-workers? It's a tough legacy, man. Everything he does from now on is irrelevant. And I'm sorry to the people who read my work and who watched me on CNN and who thought I was a better person than this. And so, you know, I got a lot to rebuild. Why are they spending so much time on this? What is wrong with you? Is the cum news network is that what cnn stands for <laughs> this should be done and over with already it shouldn't have happened but at least bail out now guys you can feel the energy here it's not right it's not good <laughs> i mean one of the ironies of this whole incident is that for decades you have covered the bad judgment and sexual proclivities of public figures and politicians and so you know of course it begs the question why didn't you have better judgment because I didn't have better judgment, because I'm a flawed human being who makes mistakes. That right there should be his entire defense. I don't know why he's saying anything other than those words, man. I'm a flawed human being who makes some mistakes. But at the same time, it's like, what a weird time to choose to J.O., dude. When you have a seven minute break, you're like, oh, I can fucking squeeze in a nut. Perfect amount of, per hey, perfect amount of time. So after you had worked there for 27 years, mm -hmm. um, you were fired. They said after an internal investigation and in a internal memo, one of the executives there said, uh, I am writing to share with you that our investigation regarding Jeffrey Tubin is complete. And as a result, he is no longer affiliated with our company. Do you know what else they found? I do actually. That is a uh, very interesting statement for the New Yorker to put out. It certainly sounds like they dug into his past and they found some other sketchy shit. I mean, how else do you digest that statement? What other perspective is there to see that through? I don't know. Seems a little weird. As a result of the investigation came his termination. So it is a little strange. Very specifically by the people involved that um, they looked at my entire career. At, at The New Yorker, you know, 27 years, and found that there had been no complaints about me, no issues, no other, you know, th this was not the straw that broke the camel's back. It the dick that broke the camera's back. It was just this incident, and I was certainly relieved. Though I was certainly relieved. Not surprised that that's what they found. And, uh, but yet, nevertheless, they made the decision to get rid of me which, needless to say, was heartbreaking for me. So you're saying there will be no surprises after this that will come out? <laughs> I, uh, there are no surprises out there uh, about my conduct, that I am worried that, 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 that there is like a, that, there's a... There's a lot of stuttering, man. Spit it out. Having a hard time. Okay, there's a skeleton that's going to be found. Um, you know, I, I look, I, I live in the world. I know social media, what what the reactions are likely to be. I assume I hope they will be at least mixed. But uh, and so people can claim what they want. But I don't think there is any um, anything further that's going to come out. And on that note, even O.J. Simpson took a swipe at you. Um, and, you know, I think that it could be unpleasant to be the butt of jokes obviously and so i'm wondering if you think that that will somehow color your legal analysis in the future I, I you know i really don't think so you know my dad used to say something he used to say you can judge a person by their by their cock on camera and so that's what i was doing i was giving everybody an opportunity to get to know the real me me and my tiny little pecker <laughs> oh there's no way this guy's hanging good meat you know He's definitely got a little fucking, so, just a sore little nubbin.
<laughs> All right, I'm done going down this road. You can judge a person by their enemies. And if my enemy is O.J. Simpson, that is okay with me. You don't get to act morally superior because you're better than O.J. Simpson. That's expected. That's, that's a requirement for human decency. <laughs> don't seem so proud about that, dude. That is okay with me. Have a higher standard. Well, Jeffrey, um, on that note, should we move on to the news? <laughs> sure, let's go. Okay. Let's do that. <clears throat> Holy shit, worst segue ever. They had nothing, dude. <laughs> She's like, uh, anyways, let's talk about fucking something else now. Let's move, move it along. And then they just get into the news. What's next in this case? Is this headed for the Supreme Court? Well, you know. God, that is so weird. You just shocked all of you. You should go to break something, dude. Fucking break these segments up in some sort of way. Let people cleanse their visual palette. You know what I mean? Wash it out with some fucking advertisements. Literally anything. But what you just did is shocked all of your viewers, put them through one of basically cringe hell. And then now they have to just, like I said, watch this guy and take him seriously, knowing that he's probably jerking it beneath the table <laughs> right now, dude. Unbelievable. Any creative endeavor I could have chose to do in my life, and I'm talking about this guy coming on camera in front of his colleagues. <laughs> this fucking dingus. See you later and uh, keep your tubes hidden. <laughs> I stand up, my dick's out. Can't do that. All right, peace out, guys. Hello, Allison. I haven't just thought about it. I come to several of my former colleagues. I was certainly relieved. They realized that this was intended for them, and I'm trying now to come to my family.